this whole pandemic. Everything you see on the news every day, it feels like it's never getting better. It's a scary time. I mean, you're either going to the grocery store or you're going to the hospital. You got employee health, you got customer health. It's a high stakes game worth every decision you make. One person getting sick and shuts down our whole business. Even though we may have thought we had busy days before, those were nothing in comparison to what we have now. It kind of feels like humankind and society is at stake. So when we see something that's working for people, when we see something that's helping our customers and our employees stay safe, we do it. With social distancing, delivery has been huge for us. It really gets out to the customers that can't get into the store physically. We have curbside pickup, and it has always been just something we dabbled in. COVID-19 has changed that. We're now up to $12,000 a week, and it's 10-day wait. We can adapt much, much faster than uh, a chain store could. Bigger guys, they're out. There's no meat, there's no bakery, there's no produce. But you guys working hard every day to make sure that you know there's food on our tables, so thank you. You wake up, and where is the greatest need? People asked when you're gonna have more tissue or toilet paper or bleach. And for the first time in 40 years, I can't tell them when I'm gonna get them in. We have never had people thank us like they have in the last two weeks for being here to be able to supply their food because they need to eat. It's almost a little bit invigorating. It's, it's encouraging, kind of uplifting to have a team like we have and family like we have to be able to get through it together. COVID-19 has taught me that this business is more than just selling boxes and food. It's you know being a part of the community. It's so important you know, to engage in your community and find what their needs are and deliver. I've always done the work, and that's what you got to do to survive this. We're all scared of what's happening, what's going on, but you can't just lay down. You got you got you got to get back up, dust yourself off, and win. If you're the head coach of the ball team, you can't show them that you're stressed out because it's going to make the whole team stressed out. For us, it's chaos in the back, but you know for the customers, it seems probably pretty seamless. Thank you very much for everything you're doing. You stand behind your community 100%. And we'll surely be supporting you. We have a service to provide. We have people to feed. And if this is you know, where I'm at right now, this is my job, then I'm going to do the job and I'm going to do it well. We have to do what we're doing right. We have to do it well with passionately. We have to do it with, with kind, loving, fun. You know, normally I wouldn't put us on the same line as paramedics and firefighters and doctors. Without that cashier, without that person that's unloading my trucks and putting that stuff on the shelves, without my deli people, you couldn't eat. The world will be a better place, I think, when this is all over. I know I'm going to be a better person. This kind of thing does, it seems so horrific, but it brings the best out of us, all of us, and I, I'm going to celebrate that. We've always known our community was really everything, and now I don't think I'll ever take those things for granted again.